hello everyone and welcome to the channel so i just uploaded my video about a rant on csir and uh, when i saw the website csir has uh, released final answer key thankfully something is happening okay so yeah we have csir final answer key csir december 2024 final answer key let's look upon that which questions has been changed and uh, let's look upon that what are those questions like if there is any question which has been changed or not the one which we have challenged okay there were many questions which we discussed that we will be challenging and i have made a lot of media videos back then when the uh, when the provisional answer key came so let's look upon it okay so you can come to the website i will give you link to reach out to this particular website in the description of this video you can directly come up over here and uh, this is the link okay csir december 2024 final answer key if you click on this you will be able to download something like this which is nothing but a uh, final answer key okay if you scroll down a little bit on third or fourth page on third page you have chemical science uh, exam date is given and these are the answers okay now because i also have the provisional answer key i have compared both of them and uh, I'll, I'm going to show you what are the results or what are the differences which I have found. All right, so I quickly compared both of these. Uh, so this is provisional answer key. Okay, this is provisional answer key. And uh, I compared it with the final answer key and I found that these were the questions which has been changed, like the answers has been changed. Uh, question number, 701149 question number 701158 so the answer has been changed from option 2 to option 4 here the answer has been changed from option 1 to option 2 and i also found one more question which is uh, question number 701203 uh, which has been changed from option 1 to 2 these are the three which i which i have found i just did a quick search and i found these three if you find any other question apart from these three, please do let me know in the comment section, okay? Because it's the night time. It's my, I, I just woke up from my sleep. I, you can say like, I, I'm just about to sleep, okay? So probably my mind might not be working properly. But yeah, it's not an excuse. But I just try to, you know, I just try to get it done. So I found these three questions. Fine. So all these three questions we actually discussed in our videos where we have discussed about uh like challenging this let's let's look upon this question one by one first of all okay so yeah here is your question which was question id 701158 it was a two marker question from solid state chemistry this of course we have discussed according to radius ratio rule that this needs to be octahedral which is accepted so many of you might have challenged it congratulations it is accepted now so the final answer key is uh, like the final answer in the answer key is option number two which is octahedral in the provisional answer key it was wrong it was given tetrahedral which was not the case the ratio was not coming for octahedral so that's why option two is correct okay so this is one of the questions 701158 the next question is 701149 this is question from electronic transition the question where it was asked the number of D and P terms arise from P3 electronic configuration in the provisional answer key. It was given 2 and 3 which is not possible. Again, we discussed it in our video and uh, the final answer key is 1 and 1. Again, those who have uh, challenged it, like everyone will get the answer, uh, everyone will get the marks but those who have, those who have chosen option number 4 as the correct answer, they have got, they are now going to get marks. Those who have taken option 2, so marking will be done based upon final answer key that's what i want to tell you okay so the marking will be done based upon final answer key not based upon provisional answer key okay one more question that we saw that is question number 701203 it is a four marker question so these other two these are two marker question this is also a two marker question solid state this is also a two marker question electronic transition uh, but this question from uh, thermodynamic uh, sorry from quantum chemistry this is a four marker question and i solved this completely like when we were discussing about uh, like when when i have made this question or when we discussed about this question in my previous video i made it in detail like how to solve this i'll i'll pin that video in the i button you can watch that video so i have made a detailed solution of this question so yes this has been also accepted option number 
two is correct answer according to the final answer key and uh, in the provisional answer key it was given one so basically three questions are changed the three answers have changed now whatever marks you are getting now count your marks based upon the final answer key do let me know in the comment section how much marks you are getting okay and uh, one more thing i want to discuss yeah one more thing i want to discuss that if you see the answer key there is no question which has been dropped okay um yeah so a uh, correct key drop means the question is dropped marks awarded to the candidate who uh, who has uh, given the exam so you can see that there is no option or nothing written where it like no option where it is written it's drop okay if i go to other subjects you can see that there is one question which has been dropped in earth science so it is mentioned properly right that it is it is dropped here uh, yeah you can see it's dropped here but um, in chemical science i cannot see any question which is dropped uh, even in life sciences there are some question which they have given multiple answers it's i mean i don't know about that again there is a question which is dropped in uh, life sciences in physical sciences there is no change which has been made in mathematics also looks like there is no change which they have made um yeah so basically in chemistry uh there is no question that has been dropped okay yeah so in chemical sciences there is no question which looks to be dropped that means all the questions have been found correct and whatever you guys have challenged based upon that three changes i found if you find more than three go, do let me know in the comment section okay and that's it for this particular video do let me know how much marks you guys are getting okay because uh, then we can look upon or we can discuss about the cutoff okay now i'm going to sleep i'll make more videos when i'll wake up take care have a good day bye bye